Do you struggle with hot flashes? Namaste. Welcome. It's Anita Tadavarthi, your acupuncturist friend with over 20 years of experience. Let me give you an acupressure protocol that can help you out. This acupressure protocol is so wonderful because it's going to help you on many different levels. It can help you to bring blood flow to the ovaries so they can work more efficiently. It can help moderate body temperature so that if you're struggling with not only hot flashes but also night sweats, it can help with both. I've seen it over time also help with lowering the intensity and the frequency of the hot flashes as well as lowering the intensity and frequency of the night sweats. Now with all things, please work with your doctor as this is complicated. As you can appreciate, it has to do with balancing different hormone levels. What I've seen patients do over time is that they'll get their blood tests run with their physician and then do the acupressure and then in three to six months, see what their blood tests show. And you can work with your physician on that. But to be honest, you'll see the difference and see if this can work for you as you do the acupressure consistently within a few days to a few weeks to months, you're gonna see the differences in the changes in your own body. So in acupressure, acupuncture, there are two meridians when they're paired together, have a brilliant way of managing body control or body temperature. I've seen this for both men and women. I know here we're speaking more for women, but the two meridians that pair together to help in this way is the triple warmer meridian, also known as the triple burner meridian with the spleen meridian. Now in Chinese medicine, we often have reflexology. We see this throughout the body. And so here we have Eve or Anna. Anita is my name, so I go with Anna. So Anna right here is mirror imaged in the metacarpal just this way, as well as each of the fingers also represent the torso. And we have a similar reflexology in the foot as Anna is represented essentially in the same way where the metatarsal is. So when we acupress, we want to acupress so that it affects the entire body. Because when you're having a hot flash from a Chinese medicine or reflexology point of view, you're having it because the ovaries may be working less efficiently and you're having the surge go essentially as a flame to your chest, neck, and face. And so one acupressure point that you can do that pairs with another acupressure point that can essentially cross the entire body and help you moderate temperature control throughout the body is triple warmer three along with spleen four. I like to do my points in zones because then it gets many reflexology and it can mirror image the entire body. So what you're going to do for me is that you're going to find the ditch between the little finger and the ring finger, the ditch between the two metacarpals, and you're gonna feel between the bones and you're going to acupress this way. You will also want to acupress the finger because in Chinese medicine, the fingers represent the ovaries, which can be one of the reasons why you may be experiencing hot flashes because some reports show that the less efficiency of the ovaries can cause the balance of the hormone resulting in the hot flash. So one way that I'd acupress this point to help you with hot flashes is to massage fist on top of fist. You can do either fist to help you. Also, because in Chinese medicine, each of the fingers represent the ovaries, you want to combine triple warmer three or treat triple burner three with acupressing the fingers as well as you want to acupress the medial aspect of the foot. Now, spleen four is essentially on the metacarpal, the first metacarpal. So if you acupress the entire area, you're also not only going to get the point of spleen four, but you're also going to get the entire image of Anna as she is represented here. So for the next minute, I want you to follow along with me on the hand, and then we'll also do it on my foot so that you can see what to do. Now with all things, consistency is the name of the game. 
So I want you to do these acupressure points throughout the day, morning and evening as well, so that if you can do this for a few minutes, then it's gonna consistently work. Acupressure, acupuncture is the physical therapy of Chinese medicine. So we need that consistency for you to have that experience that can potentially help you long-term. So for the first minute, what I want you to do is I want you to acupress just like this, as well as like this. So let's do this together for the next minute. Here we go. Now you can do this one foot at a time or in the Buddha position, you can do both feet together. Here we go. I wish you all the best. It's Anita Ted of RV. I wanted to down below or attend our lives and let us know. I want to deliver the information that could better your lives. And I have a team of mentors that I work with. Also, all of our social media money, I'm so proud to announce this, goes towards free clinics. So if in your heart you feel compelled to give a donation, click on the first link in the bio and know that every single time you watch my videos, it goes towards the free clinic. Thank you for your support. We would like to thank Anita's friends and business contacts who donated their time, money, and medical supplies to the Rapoli Free Clinic. We're here in my grandfather's um, marriage hall, which has now been converted into our clinic or free hospital. Um, we have been here for four months and we have treated about a thousand patients with over eight or nine thousand patient visits. Most of the patients are farmers and agricultural workers, so a lot of the things that they're dealing with is uh, pains, lots of different types of